Hello, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about why so many people lately have elected to have their children homeschool. Okay, guys? Now, this is a very good topic, something that, that needs to be talked about. I know it is talked about in, in, um, in some arenas and, and, some, and some, with some people, this is a, a, a hot topic. You know what I mean? But hopefully it sheds some light to others who um, who may want to think on the the, uh, the the situation a little deeper okay now the first thing or the first the first angle I want to come from this at guys is education education for one with a lot of people and then really what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna explain the benefits that I see in it okay and and why me and my children's mom have elected to homeschool our children. This may not be the right thing for everybody. It might not be the best thing for your children or another child, okay? And that's why you have the option to, to do either one. You got to do what's best for your children, okay? For some kids, it may be better for them to be in public school. For some kids, it may be better for them to be in homeschool. For some kids, it may not matter, okay? This is why we do it. This is why it's what's best for our children based on them and who they are, okay? And what, they're, and what suits them, okay? Um, now, from an educational standpoint, guys, all right? Now, I'm not trying to get on the, the school system, anything, the public school system. Um, there's a lot about this country and, and our different systems that, um, that I think are, are, are good, you know, and, and, they, and they we're blessed. To have that situation okay so I don't want to um, I don't want to make this a thing where we're, I'm trying to bash public schools okay um, but from an educational standpoint what I found growing up what a lot of people found growing up okay is that a lot of the things that we learned in school you know what I mean especially with us like the millennial age you know what I mean um, it didn't it wasn't anything that really served us in life we were wasting a lot of our time in public schools okay now obviously you need to know the basic things you know um early on learning how to you know to read do basic math and stuff and keep and stand up on those things because those are the things that that you use in everyday life that you can really apply to real life okay and so you're kind of going to learn uh, these things anyway as you grow up because if your parents are doing what they supposed to do as far as oh, you know what I mean? As far as raising you, working with you, and teaching you in different in different ways, then you're gonna learn that stuff anyway through your through your parents and the adults in your life that you're around by watching them. You know what I mean? The stuff, uh, you know, work with money or deal with money, deal with 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 cards now and stuff. They're gonna learn just like they they a lot of this new these things that are new to to them, um, that are that are new to the world. You know what I mean? They're learning on the go as they as they do it. They're learning in action. You know what I mean? Um, as as we all should be. You know what I mean? And that's what works best for our children. I can't. Some people, children may, um, it may suit them best to sit, sit down in the classroom and sit in a, a chair for uh for fi five out of eight hours out of the day, and have somebody talk at them about a bunch of stuff that they don't they don't understand because they're not learning in a way that's conducive for them. Okay. Um, a lot of kids, a lot of us uh, realized that growing up, okay? And like I said, to get back to how um, a, a lot of the content was irrelevant content that you can't use in life anyway, okay? Um, and so we, we, you know, I felt like it, it was a big waste of time in, in that regards, okay? Um, another thing, and so with homeschooling, you know what I mean? As long as you go over with uh, the, 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 the criteria and you are making sure that your children are responsible and you are responsible for having the children be um, be sufficient in whatever it is that, that um, they require, um, then you make sure your children are efficient in that. You know what I mean? And um, and then, you know, and, but you can do things that's more catered to your children, okay? Another thing is um, it ha has to do with attention and, and time and one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I mean? And being in a smaller um, a conducive to learning um, environment, okay? 
So if you're in a class a lot of times with an overwhelmed, with one overwhelmed teacher, okay, who's and who and 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 shouldn't, you know what I mean? If it's 15, 20 kids in the class, you can't expect somebody to be able to cater to your child like they may need, you know what I mean? So homeschooling might be best because who's going to care about your child more than you? And who's going to treat them better than you and cater to what their specific needs is and have the time and the attention that goes towards directly towards them so they can make the improvements and, and, and things that they need to make and learn the things that they need to make at the pace that they do uh that that, that they are able to do it at um in an environment that's comfortable and conducive for them to learn okay um that um that ve that may very well be um public school for some children for some school um, for some children it may be home school right so um that's just one aspect of too like you know the attention that you can give to your children, okay? The time and, and the attention and, and things like that. Now, if you are in a situation where you can't do that, then, okay, then I mean, that's, that's what it is. I don't know. It may just work out better for you anyway to just send your kids off to school, you know what I mean? And you go do whatever you got to do. That may be what's best for you and your family, you know what I mean? Um, so I can't tell you or suggest what what you what you should do in your personal situation, all right. Um, but what we like about it is the fact that you know we are able to give our children that one on that one on one, and like I said, who's going to know your children better than you? And so we have the the skills and the ability and the relationship with our children to be able to teach them better than anybody else can. Okay. Um, and 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 that and that's that and then the thing about it and then not to mention we can teach them at at, at the pace that um that they need it need to be taught at and we can teach them also the things on top of their standard curriculum but then we can teach them whatever else that we want to teach them that we feel like is something that they can really use in life and they'll benefit them in life and i and we know that they're not a lot of time is not being wasted learning things that don't matter okay <laughs> um so that's one thing so the content you know we don't agree with the content of public schools and with their with their learning um and you know and we and we uh we were concerned about you know what i mean um what they were learning and how they can actually utilize it in life and whether it was worth it okay um so those things too um, and so like, and so the point is, is this is not to make things political. People who have, this is not political. Okay. People who have issues with a lot of things that's going on now and this, and this is one of the things in particular, the one, one of the topics is this is a political thing. Okay. This is about something else with, with people. Okay. Some people might not have the intelligence sometimes to be able to, uh, really justify their their means okay and their are and their argument um without being without seeming obvious to where there's a, a a different agenda or a different motive or a different issue so a lot of people who have issues with stuff like homeschooling is people not because homeschooling is a bad idea or it's not the better idea or better for them and i mean or better for their children anyway like i said a lot of it just got to do with they trying to do with what they what's convenient for them and what they have to do based on their specific situation and they're comparing themselves to other people you see what i'm saying and um and so they looking at it like well i you know i gotta send my children to school and i gotta do this and i gotta do that and i'm used to doing it this way and i'm used to doing it this way and i did it this way whatever whatever well you know that that may very well be true for you but you're not everybody you're just one person and you know i mean you got to do what's best for you and what the father says, what the father, the situation the father gives you, you have to do with best with your situation. And you can't, that's why you can't, uh, you got to stop comparing yourself and judging other people and judging yourself too. Um, because God, the most high gives people their own situations. Okay. Um, and my situation may not be yours and yours may not be mine. Um, so the political thing, you know what I mean? As far as, you know, what I was just saying, like, you know, I, you know, really it's, it's, it's oh, really it's, I, I just, you know, I can't, 
uh, I can't get with all with these new things that are going on, or and and, and it's really just they feeling like they're losing their grip on reality. You know what I mean? And so it's really an issue about, you know what I mean, things changing too much for them too fast, okay? Because um, you probably really don't care that much about somebody, that much about somebody else's child and whether they're going to homeschool or public school, okay? I doubt you really care about that child as much as the parent who makes that, who makes that decision. Especially if the parent is making a decision that requires the parent to, to, to do more in that regards. See, another reason a lot of people don't mind like just sending their kids to school is because it's because they don't have to be responsible for for emo, the emotional development of their child and um in, in that time, um the, the, the psychological development, the um the actual um actually what the kid kids are learning. You know, they don't have they could just send their kids off. It's a break for a lot of parents. Um, and a babysitter for a lot of parents, okay? And they may not be good in, 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 um, in, in the aspects of working with their children, and they may not have the patience to, to work with their children throughout the day, have their children really be their responsibility and around them most of the day and, and them really having to interact and, and, and be responsible for, for their, with, um, their children's learning, okay? Um, so, but if they see somebody else doing it, they may, that may ruffle people feathers a little bit because you know it may be showing them something it may be bringing out something that they don't want bought out it may it, you know what i'm saying it, they're comparing themselves to people they'll be like well dang what happened if everybody started doing that and maybe that is better and maybe that is good but i don't want to have to do it so therefore you know I can, I can just down talk it or downplay it or give my two cents and when in a, in a situation that doesn't um that's that's not any of their personal business you know what I mean? So you can have your, your political stance on something, okay, and have your motives and your reasons for why that you think it should be a certain way. But if you don't, and another thing, too, if you don't have any, um, any skin in the game, like you got, peop, you got a lot of people that got opinions on this that don't even have children. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, so um, there's a lot of people. Some people just want their, want their opinions to be, you know, we all have our opinions heard. That's what life is about, expressing ideas. And that's what we live in a democracy. We live in a place like uh, America and things like that where people should be able to share their opinions and ideas. It don't mean that it's for everybody. You know what I mean? It don't mean everything got to be an issue um, or static either because two people don't agree on something. You know what I mean? I would never care what your opinion is to the point where I'm, a, I'm trying to influence um I'm trying to dictate to you what you should be doing personally. That's why I do stuff like videos. I don't kick things to individuals because I know that everybody individual circumstance is different. So I kick things on like like on YouTube, like on platforms like this. So it, whoever is supposed to hear it and whoever is for and who it can help and benefit, then they'll they'll they can find this information. But I'll never try to push myself or my views off on any particular individual. You know what I mean? Um, even my children, I teach them uh, as they grow as they growing up, like to have your own mind, to have your own opinions. Daddy can teach you a certain way. I can teach you what I think. You know what I mean? I can show you um, what I know and, and, like I said, what I think about certain things. But at the end of the day, you got to form your own opinion and thoughts and minds and, 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 mind and feelings about even the things that I teach you and what I say. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's not it's not about it's never about control with me. I know we all we all in these fleshly bodies and and we've been raised a certain way and things like that sometimes. You know what I mean? In our society, some of us can have a, a bit of control issues that we got to work on. You know what I mean? Um so that's that's okay too. You know what I mean? Um but you got to work on things though. You can't you can't, you know what I mean? You got to try to work on what you need to work on. Um but yeah, guys, so you know, so that's another thing. I know I'm getting, this is a real good long-winded one, you know what I mean? Hopefully, this, I think this is going to be a real good one for the archives. But, um, but yeah, guys, so that, that's, that's what we like about homeschool, and that's why we do it. And, uh, oh, interaction. So, yeah, you want your children, I can understand, too, uh, with, uh, or an uh, 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 angle that somebody could come at, at you from, with, which I can understand, what would seem valid as well, social, social upbringing, and, you know, and being around other kids and, and being social, what about that aspect? 
Well, for one, if you have a large enough family, then and, and that's it's, that's it's I understand that for somebody who only has a one or um a one child, one maybe even two child family, and the children are different ages and things like that. And um, so, but you want your child to be able to get out and interact with other kids and and develop socially in that way. Perfect. I, I get it, and I agree with that. Um, so like in my person, you said personal situations. Um, you know what I mean? It's it's um it's my children are around each other all day, and it's enough of them, to, and, and at different age groups where they're always interacting with children, either younger than them, um, a little older than them, much older than them. You know what I mean? Um, they go to the park almost practically almost every day, and so not only are they getting social interaction with other kids, but they're doing it in a more creative and smart and realistic way because when they go to the park. They don't know what little kids they're going to meet that day. And you know what I mean? But they meet every day they go out there. They meet different little kids and get to playing with other little kids. And we go very often. And so, therefore, it's not like a classroom where you get used to the same little kids and you're in the same um, situation every day and you know what to expect. They are um, able to work on just being able to interact and get along with different people that you may just meet. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? All different races backgrounds and things like that and getting out there and just being um having fun and interacting with other little kids not to mention like i said they all are around each other all day every day too so that's not so we don't and then they do other things to interact and go other places and things like that to interact with children so they getting that too so that's not much of a that's as far as me and my personal situation um other people, they like I said, it depends, and you might have to figure something else out to get your children amongst other children. If you only have one child and they homeschool, you gotta find other ways to yes allow your children to be around other children and be social. Okay, that's part of their, that is part of development too, and I do agree with that. Um, let me see what else. Uh, what else I like about homeschool, or why other people, some of the you know. Or well, some people may do it for other reasons. Like you said, you can comment below or whatever. If you find some other reasons or you have other reasons why you may homeschool your children. You know what I mean? The reasons I give might not be the reasons you have. But when you listen to me right now, I may be showing you things. You know what I mean? Um, have you think about things and ways that it benefits you that you didn't even acknowledge. You see what I'm saying? Um, but what else, though? Let me see. Is there anything else I like about it? Oh, nutrition and things like that you know what i mean um you you know what i mean you not now what i do like is it seems like they're trying to get healthier food in the schools okay um but you know you can you can um, monitor your child's nutrition more oh and then another and this is a very important one please let me make this point you know what i mean in the video uh you also are more in, in control of what your children and who your children are around okay you sending your kids off to school having your kids away like that from you you know what i mean everybody's not the best parents some people raise their children in ways that you might not want your children around it might not be safe or, or healthy or good for your children you see what i'm saying and um because like i said everybody's not teaching their children respect and and you know, and people and kids do things when they get away from their parents. It ain't about all the time what the parent ain't doing. Sometimes it's little kids, we mischievous and bad little kids or whatever, whatever. Sometimes like, and you know, what I mean, your children have to be around that, and that's influence. You know what I mean? And teachers and administrators and things like that. They like I said, they can't always hone in on on what's going on all the time. We all know we all been there. We all been in school. We all know some of the things that go on and can go on that we've done in school. You see what I'm saying? And because for not being properly watched, you see what I mean? So what do you, so I mean, that's a, so that's another thing too. Um, you know what I mean? But like, if you feel like you don't have no choice and you got to send your children to school, then you just want everybody to send it. Like, you know what I mean? You know, you don't, you don't care. Like you, like, you ain't like, well, well, bless them. They got the opportunity to, to, to always be around their children and be safe with their children as safe as possible and have their children around them. That's another thing. If someone, look, look at all the stuff that's going on in these schools. You know what I mean? And so, therefore, at least if something's going to happen, something gonna ha can happen to, to anybody. Something's going to happen to anybody. You see what I'm saying? But the point is, is I would rather be around my children if something's going to happen. Some, if some nut was, uh, was the, the run-up with, with a gun and decided to start spraying up a, a school, like a lot of these people have been doing within the recent past, 
You see what I'm saying? I, I'd rather at least be there. It would be better for me to say I, I, I was there and I was able to die or something like that for my child, with my child. I, I had a fighting chance to try to protect my child. A, a lot of most people are sending their kids off to school. Them people who sent their little kids off to school in Texas and they little kids was in that and them classrooms in school. I know one of the biggest thing, things to eat them up besides not actually having their children no more. Well, one of the main things to probably eat them up is that they won't dare to at least attempt to protect their children. You see what I'm saying? Because can can no one individual be protected? Um, you know what I'm saying? Fully, unless the, only the Most High can do that. You know what I mean? And yeah, you got to kind of try to be responsible for each other. But any anybody could be out with their kids. Anybody could, any, 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 under any circumstances, you can get attacked and something can happen to you. But at least when you're right there with your children, you feel like you got a fighting chance to protect them. You, it would make you feel worse if you knew you was away from your children and you couldn't help them and you couldn't get to them. That's another thing, too. You know what I mean? That's another good point. But, um, yeah, guys, hopefully this was a helpful video, a really good video, guys. This is why a lot of people are finding homeschool as, uh, um, as a more valuable option, okay? And then it just kind of happened, too, with the whole COVID thing and people had to do online and all that type of stuff. And some people realized they liked it better. And it, it, that you see what I'm saying? Some things you do got to try. You know what I mean? And a lot of people just realized they felt like it was better for them and their child. I mean, their children when they had different options. That's another thing that some people don't like. They don't like that it's different options now. People can't be all trapped into the, that they, their mind frame or their ideas and how they want things to be. You know what I mean? Nobody's forcing you to do anything in any particular type of way. Is you know people people are just some people are just upset that there are different options now. For, for for other people. All right, guys. Peace.